Hello and welcome to more Couch Conchology. In this video, I will show you the rest of the collection that had belonged to Dr. F.M. Stipe and Mrs. Nellie S. Stipe from Newton, Kansas. These are the remainder of the gastropod shells I'll show you and then we'll move on to some bivalves and land snails as well. These are mirror, we've got some murex, some nice big murex, some olive shells that are really quite nice there, a big ancilla there, and a few more olives, some nice cones, very nice cones, and a big ton of gallia, a fig shell and a bubble, and some melangina. I also want to point out this label that is on this cone shell right here. This is an example of the labels that came with some of the shells. It says, Conus Textile, the Tent Cone, North Borneo. So some of the shells did have limited locality data and just a little bit of information with them. So that was kind of nice. And we'll move on to something that I really want you to see next. It'll be a surprise. It was quite a surprise to see this in an auction in Kansas, this big Cyrinx Aruanus. But it was there nevertheless, and it does look like a shell that had been purchased. It's been cleaned and polished and everything, so it looks like it's probably one of the commercial grade shells that was possibly sold in a shell shop or a tourist, tourist shop of some sort. But it is every bit 20 inches, and it's quite a surprise to get that one in an auction. It's very cool. Here are some of the bivalves that I got in the collection. I really did not get many bivalves in the, in the auction. I don't know if that's because possibly I missed some of the lots that were up for sale. It, that's entirely possible that they were there, but I just didn't get them. So what, what I did get, they're, they're pretty neat shells too. This big, huge angel wing right here is every bit six inches. Beautiful shell, just very nicely intact. Even has the spoons on the inside of the, the hinge line. Very pretty shell, and it is the biggest one I have in my collection. So that was pretty neat. A few more of the bivalves that are in the collection, some some Venerids, some Docenia, and also there are some Tridacna Maxima there that are a little bit beat up, but still not too bad. There was also this nice little sea star in the collection too, which was kind of a neat one to get in there as well. And finally, here are some land snails that were also there in the auction. Not very many of those, as you can see. These are Sarion from a, probably the Bahamas. It even has a little bit of sand left with them still. These all have holes in them that are indicative to me that they may have been strung for a necklace or something, perhaps. And these little tiny shells here... I don't know if they're freshwater, land, or marine shells. I'm not familiar with them, and I have not identified them yet. So they're quite fragile, so I've got them in that little box. But I'll, I'll get busy on that sometime. But overall, it's a, it's a really nice collection. If you haven't looked yet at Part 1, go ahead and, and view that one because it will tell you a little bit of the history of of the collection and, and the people who had it kind of give you a little bit of an idea of, of what that was all about and everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned some things and, and are still learning things just like I do with the shells. They're a lot of fun and a, and a lot of relaxation and I really have, have enjoyed my shell collection, and there will be more videos to come on some really interesting subjects as well. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.